Welcome once again to Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard, answering more of your viewer questions. Today's question comes from Perla. Perla asks, I do video editing and sometimes need to work between Mac and Windows computers. Recently I bought a new external hard drive. How should I format it so that it works with both Mac and Windows? I plan to use Disk Utility to format the drive. Good call. Disk Utility is a great way to format the drive for either Mac or for Windows. Um, if you don't know how to get to Disk Utility, you can just go to the uh, spotlight up in the top of the screen, type in Disk Utility, shows up right there in the list. Da -da -da. There you go. It launches it right up. Now I plugged in a Lexar jump drive just to give an example of formatting the drive. So for instance, on this one, you click on it and you click on the Erase tab right over here. And you see the formats down here that gives you a choice and you can also name it. But in here you have the choice for Mac OS Extended Journaled. That's really what you want if you're going to make it a boot drive. That means have the Mac OS on it or if you need to index the drive for some reason. Um, otherwise Mac OS Extended would probably meet your needs. Um, and MS-DOS is FAT, FAT32. Now FAT32 is the format that Windows would prefer. Um, but there is a limitation. Since you mentioned that you're working with video files, some of your video files might be larger than the maximum for FAT32. For FAT32, the largest, a sing the largest a single file can be is two gigabytes. So your video files would have to be broken up into little less than two gigabyte chunks in order for you to work with them on both Mac and on Windows. Okay. Um, so you might want to stick with Mac for that or format for NTFS. And if you want to format for NTFS, you'll need to go to a Windows computer to do that. NTFS drives, Macs can read the files, but they cannot write to them. So one thing you might want to consider, depending on the size of the drive, is actually partitioning it. Making one part formatted for Mac and another part formatted for Windows, NTFS. So you click on Partition. And then it gives you a choice to add addition, uh, to say two partitions. And then you can choose by sliding this up or down as to which one you want to be the biggest one. You click on that one and you choose the format. You click on this one and you choose the format. And so you can have one that's formatted for Mac, one that's for, for, formatted for another. Now this is formatted for FAT32. Uh, you might have to take it to a Windows computer to format it for the NTFS to reformat it into a, a format that can handle larger than two gigabyte files. Okay. Hopefully that answers your question. Disk Utility is a great tool uh, for learning how to format drives. It's also great for um, checking some drives to see if they have any kind of uh, problems. You click on First Aid, you can do that. I'm going to say don't switch. I don't want to save my changes. <laughs> And uh, let me go revert and just go first aid. And you can go through and verify disk or repair disk. Now one of the things about erasing a disk also is you do have a security option that I should point out to you. If you're going to be getting rid of a hard drive or giving away the computer, you can actually save the hard drive but erase all of your data. And the best way to do that is to zero out the data. Well, that's maybe not the best way. You can also do a seven pass erase. Now the seven pass erase meets the U.S. Department of Defense's standard for security, erasing magnetic media. Now if you're truly, truly, truly paranoid, you can go for the 35 pass erase, um, which basically writes on the disk 35 times and deletes, writes, deletes, writes, deletes, so it kind of gets rid of any trace whatsoever of that content. Um, it's probably be better than burning the drive. So that might be a good choice for you to consider if you're truly paranoid for whatever reason involved in a divorce or God only knows what. Anyway, so there's some security things about erasing your drive that might be helpful to you as well. Okay, if you find that helpful. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you have questions about your computer or other little tech gadgets, send me a question at questions at askthetechies.com.